Hey guys, welcome back to another D20 Sundays. I'm sharing another video of my past. This is the story of how I destroyed an entire party with a door. I've told this story to a number of other people before, and I've come across one other person who said that they had a similar experience and so on, but this is how, in second edition, I destroyed an entire party with a door. Uh... To preference this, this is one of the first times I had ever Dungeon Mastered, and it was just supposed to be a one-shot to give the Dungeon Master a break. And so, you know, the players weren't taking it too seriously. So I can't really remember everyone who was there, but I remember that we had a Paladin, a Barbarian, a Magic User, as they were not called Wizards back then, a Thief, as they were not called Rogues back then, and a Cleric. So... They had been traveling through a, an old keep that had been essentially decrepit, but it was filled with bandits. Their job was to clear out the bandits in order to make room for essentially the nearby military to come in, set up, and make the keep better, so that way they can keep the whole you know kingdom safer. Well, the players had been steamrolling through pretty much everything. They were like 7th or 8th level, and I had made the mistake of like, you know, just... Let's set it to this level, and you get, you know, this, this, and this, and, you know, just build whatever. And I made that mistake. I am never doing that again, but I made that mistake. And essentially, I was... <laughs> I was doing crap. Like, I was just doing awful the whole way through. The Dungeon Master was enjoying it, though, because he was like, ah, you know, finally someone else understands my pain. And I was like, oh, well, I'm so glad you're doing well. And then we get to a certain part where I essentially needed to stall. I needed to stall the game for about two minutes to where I could think up what would be in the next room to make it a little bit harder to make an actual challenge for these guys because they were just steamrolling through everything. I give you the falling ceiling trap. The Falling Ceiling Trap back in 2nd Edition was a very deadly trap. Uh, whenever my Dungeon Master used it on this, it was pretty much one of those save or die situations. So I was like, oh, shit. Um, so I, you know, throw that against them, and essentially they all save. They all get out of the way, they're all saved, and it's alright, fine. But I was like, okay, I need to stall, I need to stall, I need to stall. Uh, the door does not open. I'm like, what? And I was like, alright, that's fine. You know? Strength check. It's like you shoulder check the door with all your might, but it just doesn't budge. It's like, oh, that's strange. Well, the thief's like, move, move, move. Let me pick the lock. The thief tries to pick the lock, and the lock clicks, and he tries to push the door open, but again, it doesn't open. The uh, magic user's like, oh, no, well, I'll detect from magic. None. Barbarian tries this time to break down the door, sinks his axe into the door and it's like, huh, the door's pretty tough. It's like, yeah, it's almost like you're hitting a rock. You know, the cleric at this point decides he's going to investigate the door further and determine that the door had become swollen and petrified over time and was stuck to the door frame. They could break it down with enough effort, but really, that was just it. There was no moving the door otherwise because it just becomes swollen, petrified, and stuck to the frame. It was essentially as hard as rock itself. So, before the cleric could tell everyone this, I'm going to tell you the fact that this group is one of those heavy role-playing groups. In other words, they stay in character through the whole thing. They never break character, and they stay that way. And while it was amazing to watch them do this, as I often had trouble doing it at the time, but they did it so amazingly and so effortlessly, I was impressed all the time. But, you then hear the thief say to the uh, to the magic user, I bet you 50 gold pieces, you can't break down the door of the fireball. And the magic user's playing a very greedy caster. So he says, deal, I cast fireball on the door. I honestly had nothing for him. I was like, uh, okay. He rolled, he rolled high. I was like, okay, everyone has to make a save. And like, why? He's like, because you're in an enclosed space. 
you you guys literally just got back you know the hall ceiling trap door hall hall is not big enough to take the full explosion and the wizard or the magic user incinerated himself the thief got incinerated the cleric got heavily wounded as well did the barbarian and the paladin they got the door off the hinges but now they also alerted to the all the rest of the bandits as to where they were as well as the boss that I had placed in the next room that I was currently in the middle of making him slightly stronger. Yeah. I destroyed a party with a door. Never living that one down. And like I said, I've told this story to other people before. I don't think I've told it to you guys. And I've encountered like on one forum someone who had a similar story as to how theirs happened. And I'm just sitting there like, I'm kind of glad this wasn't a just me situation that someone else had known this pain, but I just kind of felt like, wow, I killed the party on my first time dungeon mastering and I didn't even mean to. Oh, well, I didn't dungeon master again until I think about a year and a half later when I started uh, DMing for a Pathfinder group made a bunch of my high school friends, the one that Steve was in. And honestly, I can kind of say that that whole thing kind of stuck with me. It helped mold the way I Dungeon Master because I was like, okay, I need to make sure everything's properly balanced before I throw it against anyone. And then the whole Pathfinder thing, since it was a completely different system from 2nd Edition, that helped mold it even further. And that's just kind of how I became the way I am now. Anyways, that's the story of my past. One of my cherished memories of playing Dungeons and Dragons and being a Dungeon Master. So I'll catch you next time, the next D20 Sundays. As always, like and subscribe.